welcome in everybody and ready for a, another session today. Um, for our equipment today, we need a pole again, but you don't need it straight away. Um, and I think most people here already know what that is. Um, so I won't go into too much detail, but essentially just something you can hold in two hands. Mine's just out of shot, ready for me when, when I need it. But you don't need it straight away. So you can grab that after the warm up if you need to. But let's get started by warming ourselves up. Make sure we've got plenty of space around us so we're not going to hit anything for anyone. And we start with one arm going around in a circle, nice and gentle, nice and controlled, just warming up that shoulder joint there and getting it ready for what we've got in store for it. Good. So nice, gentle movements. If you can't do that full circle, as always, just do what you can if that's a smaller circle or whatever it looks like for you. Just get it going around the best you can there. work with that same arm let's go the opposite way around now again just doing the best with the circles best that you can do with your ability level Well, let's change over to the other side and get that one going around as well. Right. And then with that same arm, let's go the opposite way around. Nice work, okay. Then as much as you can, reaching over towards the opposite shoulder. Remember, if you can't reach all the way over, you can come to the near shoulder or you can come across the front instead, depending on your shoulder ability or whatever the situation may be with pain in the shoulders or discomfort. Just doing what you can here is what's important. Okay. okay, let's take one arm here, swing it forwards, reaching up, swing it back down. If you can't reach up above your head, just get to where you can with it. If that's head height, shoulder height, chest height, wherever it may be, just reach up the best you can and swing it back down again. Yeah, let's change arms over to the other side and continue with that. And again, doing the best you can on each side, if that means one is better or worse than the other, just doing what you can with each individual arm. Hey, let's bring it in for a hug, arms out to the side, and going through that there.
Work. Let's do some shoulder rotations now. Going round. Yeah, changing direction. And then give it a nice little shape out there. Good. Okay, let's grab our poles and we'll get started. Bring that heart up a little bit. I'm going to zoom out slightly as well so you can see more of me just in case you need to. And I will get the timer set up here. We've got 14 minutes today and I will be guiding you through this every step of the way, but we'll be doing five out of 10 effort and we'll be changing every minute here with our exercise. So five out of 10 is not hard, not easy, somewhere in between the two. And we'll start in 15 seconds time with some paddling forwards. And with the pole here, just so. And we'll be going in three, two, one. Paddling arms. Excellent work. And if you have a pole, continue as I'm doing it. If you don't have a pole, same movement, but without, or a single arm variation, if you need to do it single arm. You're going around there the best you can, and at five out of 10 efforts, it's not hard, it's not easy. It's in between the two, building up that heart rate, getting that blood flowing around our body, and slowly but surely increasing that body temperature. Halfway there. Good work. So fast, that's halfway through this first minute. And for some reason, my timer has changed from 14 minutes to four minutes. I don't know why, so I have to change that in a second. But we keep going here. 15 seconds to go. And we go the opposite, seconds. opposite way on the next one. So same movement, opposite direction in four, three, two, one. Change direction. Keep it going. Nice work, everybody. Good work. Keep that going there. Some work. Okay, halfway through this halfway one. there. Keep that going. I'm going to get this timer changed again, and hopefully it'll sync up. Yeah. Just 15 second countdown is the next one. Okay, so changing in. We're going both arms around together, forwards next in three, two, four, one. Off Let's we go. go. There we go. That was probably only about a five second difference. <laughs> Good work. So both arms around together and sticking at that five out of 10 pace. Good luck, everybody. So it's all about building that heart rate up, building that core body temperature getting everything warmer and ready when we move on to some harder stuff afterwards. Halfway there. Halfway through. Looking good so far. And again, this is with the pole. You may guess without the pole is the same movement. And you could do it single arm again as well. So there's options there, depending on what you've got equipment wise and ability wise. But if there's any extra adaptations you need to do, feel free to make those yourself. Three, two, one, change direction. And keeping it going. Most well. It's the same movement, opposite direction. Sticking at that five out of 10 pace. Good work so far. Keep that going. And 
And for those who don't know, the reason I look over here rather than here in front of the camera is because I've got all of you wonderful people on the, the screen over here, so I can keep an eye on you, but I want to look at the camera. It's halfway there. It's, uh, it's a separate camera too. It's not a webcam on top of the a laptop, but I use a, a professional camera and it's on out to the side on a tripod. You have about 15 seconds to go on the next one. We're going to be doing some paddling down Ten seconds. the left side, like we're in a canoe. So we've done the kayak one. We're going into a canoe. The next one, three, two, one. That's coming down. Three. To one side. And paddling through, staying at that five out of 10 pace. Good work, everybody. Good work, keeping that going there. We're halfway through this one. Halfway there. Keeping it going. Good work, everybody. Yeah, just doing the best you can with this movement. If it doesn't look exactly like you're paddling, it's not the end of the world. We can uh, just go with what you can do here. 10 seconds. 10 seconds to go. We're going to switch over to the other side on the next one. In five, four, three, two, one, change Round over. Four. Let me get any good work. Halfway there. Halfway through. Excellent work, everybody. On the next one, we're going to be doing some circles in a clockwise direction. You don't know what I mean by that. You'll see as we get into it. 10 seconds. 10 seconds left of this one. And three, two, one coming round. Five. Excellent work. So it's clockwise direction. Let's work, everybody. I'm saying that five out of ten effort here. Halfway there. Halfway through this one, keeping it moving. On the next one, same movement, but in anti-clockwise direction. But we're changing in 15 seconds from now, so keep it going. This one for now. 10 seconds. Five, four, three. Two, one, change direction, and then keep it going at that five out of 10 pace still. So by now we should definitely feel like we're a little bit warmer. Heart rate's raised a little bit, not too crazy, but just enough to bring us above the baseline, of what we would just normally have. So feeling warmer, breathing a little bit heavier. If you have the ability to track your heart rate, you'll see that's been raised a little bit as well. Halfway there. We've just got getting our body prepared essentially for this. We've got 20 seconds to go. On the next one, we're going to do double arm forwards, double arm overhead. Okay. And we're doing that in 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Time. Worrying about that, both arms forwards, then both arms up. Let's see as we get into it in three, two, one. So we go forwards, seven. up, forwards, up. And don't worry if you can't fully extend those arms. If that's, you know, if you can only go up a little bit, forwards a little bit, that's absolutely fine. Do what you can. Just like any exercise that we do here, just doing 
what you can with what you've got available to you is much more important than trying to force yourself into a position that you can't do. Okay, halfway through this one. Halfway there. And 20 seconds to go. On the next one, we're going to one called down, down, forwards, forwards, up, up. And that combines. 10 seconds. Alternating punches down, forwards, and up. And again, you'll see as you get into it, if you don't know, in three, two, one, to so go down, down, forwards, forwards, up, up, and then repeat through down, down, forwards, forwards, up, up. It's almost like you're climbing a ladder here. Alternating those hands. Good work. And again, just extending the arms the best that you could do is what's important here. Halfway there. Halfway through. Okay, 20 seconds to go. On the next one, we are going to be doing some punching forwards, alternating hand. 10 seconds. 10 seconds to go. And then three, two, one. So we go into punching forwards only now. And alternating those hands, getting them moving. Good work, everybody. Extend forwards the best you can. If that's fully extending, that's great. If you can't fully extend, that's also great. Just get to wherever you can get to. The pace is more important than the actual technique of the exercise here. So I'd rather you stick with getting that five out of 10 pace. Halfway there. Halfway through this one, keeping it moving. Just like so, looking good from what I can see on the screen. On the next one, we're going to do same movement, but instead of going forwards, we're going to be going up. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. And four, three, two, one, going up. Now 10. Sweat coming up to halfway there, halfway through this one, keeping those arms moving. Good work. Okay, we've got two more to go. 15 seconds until we change. On the next one, we will do some circles in a clockwise direction again, but instead of going flat, we're going to bring it up. I'll explain that as we get into it in three. Two, one, so come round 11. So clockwise circles, but instead of down low, we go up high. There you go. Good, just keeping that moving around. Right, halfway there. After this one, we've got our last one, which will be the same movement, opposite direction. Ten, Ten seconds. seconds to go. Three, two, one, change direction. Last round. Just like my time I said, last round now. So it's staying about five at 10 pace all the way into the end here. Oh, 
After this, you keep holding your pulse. We've got a little bit of faster work to do. Uh, but Halfway there. Whilst I'm setting up the timer, you can have enough time to grab a drink. And I always recommend bring a drink to the session if you don't already, if you haven't already. 15 seconds to go. 10 seconds. 10 seconds now. And three, two, one. All right, that's all right. Good work. Okay, so keep holding your poles. Whilst I'm doing the timer, you've got enough time to grab a drink. Okay, so we're doing some intervals here. Actually get it ready. Okay, so with this, we've got 20 seconds of maximum effort, the best you can, and then 10 seconds of rest. So when we're doing our 20 seconds, going as fast and as hard as you can for that 20 seconds, and then 10 seconds of rest. So it's not a lot of rest, then what that's going to do is really push that heart rate up and get everything moving around nicely. And we will do this for 14 rounds. So when I press start, we've got a 15 second countdown, uh, which is now. And we go into the same exercise that we just did, but now just 20 seconds maximum effort, 10 seconds of rest. Are you ready? In four, three, two, one, off Let's you go. go. Getting those arms down around as fast and as hard as you can. Staying within a safe range of motion as you do so, though. Just get them moving quickly. Excellent work. 10 seconds to go. This will come around quick. All the way through. Four, three, two, one. Resting now. Good. It's first one done. Backwards on the next one. No, not much rest. We're going in. Three, two, one. One, off we go. Two. So it's really going to push that heart rate up now because we're moving as fast as we can. Good work. Keep it going. Excellent work all the way through. And five, four, three, two, one. Resting that. Good. Both arms round together next. And four, three, two, one. One, off you go. Good work. Nice stuff. 10 seconds to go. Keep those arms going around as fast as you can. Keep pushing it. Four, three, two, one. Resting there. Next one, same movement, opposite direction. In three, two, one, off we go. Excellent. Well, this is why we laid that baseline of effort to get our heart rate up. And now we're pushing it through its paces, getting ourselves moving. Get good work, everybody. Let's keep this going. Three, two, one. Resting there. Good. Paddling down to the left now in four, three, two. One, off we go. Five. And that's it, nice work. This one's a little bit trickier to go fast on. Just do the best you can with it. Don't worry about what you look like. Just get the arms moving. And three, two, one. Right from there. Over to the other side. In four, three, two, one, off we go. Six. That's it, nice work. Keep going. 
halfway through. Four, three, two, one. Resting there. Double arm forwards, double arm overhead. Three, two, one. Off we go. Halfway through this one. Three, two, one. Resting there. Next one is down, down, forwards, forwards, up, up. Three, two, one. Off we go. Fantastic work, everybody. Let's keep that going. And five, four, three, two, one. Resting there. Would you circles clockwise on the next one? Three, two, one. Off you go. Good work. Keep it going as fast as you can. Halfway through. Four, three, two, one. Resting there. Changing direction on the next one. Three, two, one. Off we go. So, nice work, everybody. Our heart rate should be way up there now. Breathing heavier, feeling very warm indeed. Three, two, one. Resting there. Good work. Next one, punching forwards, alternating hands in. Three, two, one. Off we go. That's it. Good work. Keep those arms punching as fast as you can. Halfway through. And four, three, two, one. Resting there, punching up on the next one. And four, three, two, one, off we go. Twelve. That's it. Fantastic, everybody. Halfway through. Three, two, one. Resting there. On the next one, we punch across our body. In three, two, one, off we go. Say okay. good work, everybody. Halfway through. And three, two, one. Resting there. And the last one we do is punching down or down and across your lap. Three, two, one. Off we go. Just round. That's it. Good work. All the way through here. Last 10 seconds of this last one. Three, two, one. Resting there. Good work, everybody. You can pop your poles down. And the next bit we're going to do requires no equipment. So just your wonderful self. Good, okay, so for this one here, what we're going to be doing is 
six rounds and we're going to be doing two minutes of exercising and two minutes of rest. For our exercises here, we're going to be um, one, doing some stuff that we haven't done in this block. So I'm going to explain how we are going to be doing this. So to do this, I might actually just zoom out a bit because we'll be doing some burpees or what I like to call adapted burpees. I actually do this without spasming. Sorry, you get my full face. <laughs> As I'm doing it, there we go. Should be able to see a little bit now as we go into this. So with a adapted burping, we've got several different ways that we can do this. So I'm going to showcase how the basic version then build up how we can make harder. So the basic version is to lean forwards and then to sit up and reach above your head. So that's the basic version to lean forwards and you can use your arms for assistance. That's the basic version, okay? So if you could do that or your best version of that, that's the starting point. If that's a little bit too easy, you can reach down towards the floor and then up above your head. Okay, so that's the next step. The next step on from that would be to do it, but without using your arms as assistance on your lap. So using your lower back to raise up, just like so. And then if you feel like you can do a little bit more, you can reach down. And then before you reach up, you can do a little lift in your chair and reach up. That doesn't have to be like a full on lift up above your chair either, it can just be putting pressure in your hands and then before you reach up. So that's basically our burpees. Um, but we'd be doing that one for the first one here for two minutes and then we'd be having 30 seconds of rest. For your effort levels here, to be honest, just doing the burpees or whatever pace you do is going to probably be enough, um, especially if you're new to it but aiming roughly somewhere sort of between six and eight out of ten and that should be a good pace for the two minutes here i'm going to press this timer and i'll explain the rest of the set as we go through it the first thing is two minutes of whatever burpee level you can do there going in 12 seconds from now so get yourselves in position and get yourself ready to go in five four three two one off you go. And it may be that you can start with not using the hands for assistance or doing the tricep dip or whatever it may be. And it may be over time you need to adjust accordingly. But this is a great exercise here. We're using some core muscles going down and coming up, especially the ones in the lower back. We're using our cardio just to be able to do this for two minutes. We're using our arms as we come down, using our shoulders as we lift up above our head. Triceps, if you're doing that dip, there's lots of different muscles. Cardio working as well. Halfway there. Halfway through. So it's one minute down. We've got another minute to go. Well, we've got 50 seconds of it now after I've talked. So doing great so far. I'm watching for a little bit. Keep it going, keep it moving. Looking good, everybody. Let's keep that going here for the next 35 seconds to go. You know, uh, 15 seconds now, all the way through to the end. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. And three, two, one. Pressing yes. there. Good. That's our first one done. The next one done to do here is to do six skis. So these are like a cross country skiing movement. We bring the arms up through and swing them down. So that's what we'll be doing for this next one here. But we're going in 10 seconds time, sticking at that six to eight range for the effort. So it's harder than the warm up, not quite as hard as the bit we did before. Three, two, one, now off you go. So going here for two minutes, 
at a fairly hard, intense pace. Good work. So nice work, everybody. So this trains us a little bit differently than we have been doing in the first couple of weeks of this block here. So the first couple of weeks is interval training. This technically is interval training as well, but the focus is slightly different. So the previous weeks we've been doing more in the 30 second effort, 30 second rest range. And that's really good for really spiking that heart rate up high and then resting and long enough to, well, long enough to be able to do it again, but short enough to be able to keep the heart rate high. For this, this is more about getting your heart rate in a zone and holding it there for a full two minutes. And that's halfway there. Slightly shifts the focus. And essentially, whatever stimulus we give our body, it tends to adapt to it. So if you give it short, fast, hard work, it gets better at doing short, fast, hard work. If we give it this two minute intensity, it gets better at doing this two minute intensity. So the different stimulus that we give it gives us slightly different outcomes. All of it works our cardiovascular system, but it just works in just a slightly different way. And when we mix and match it, doing different things on different weeks, we get the benefits across the board, not just in one area. But keep this going, keep that six out of 10 pace with six to eight out of 10 pace. And then we've got another 10 seconds coming up. 10 seconds. Into the end. And four, three, two, one. Rest in there. Good. All ready. We are gonna go back to our burpees for the next one. The great work so far, let's keep that going. That's the first two done. We've got four more to go. Let's get back to the burpees. Are we ready? In five, four, three, two, one. Off we go. So reach down, best you can, reach up the best you can. If you can get a bit of a forward bend in there as well, even if it's a little bit, that's great. Just whatever you can do. Do that. That's your first 30 seconds done. Let's keep it going. My uh, back isn't quite right in the way there as it normally does today. So I'm having to use a little bit of assistance on a couple of them. So bring it up. Okay, we've got 40 seconds to go here. Doing fantastic so far. 30 seconds to go. Doing great. Let's keep it going all the way into the end here. Twenty seconds now. Ten seconds. Ten seconds to go. Three, two. One, resting there, good. We've got 30 seconds of rest. On the next one, we're gonna do one similar to the sit ski, but instead of coming the arms up to the front, we come up to the side to do a sitting jack. Now there's a few adaptations, because if this can be a little bit tricky on the shoulders, if you've got any prior injuries, so you can either come slightly in front, or if that's even too much, you can stick with the sit skis again. Just work with your shoulders. Anyway, three, two, one, off we go. So if 
you're doing this and it's causing some discomfort in those shoulders, you can always just bring it, do the same, but come forwards a little bit more. That just takes the pressure off that shoulder capture a little bit. And if that's too much, we can always just come back to going in the front again as our shoulders are in a more neutral position there. But whichever you can do, do it well and do it six to eight out of 10 effort here, which it looks like we're all doing here really well. So let's keep that going. I personally find this one the hardest one out of these ones that we've already done so far. I'm not sure why. Okay, we're coming up to halfway. That was a little bit early. Now it's halfway. Halfway there. That's good work so far. Let's keep it going. Another 50 seconds to go here on this two minute block. Thirty seconds to go. Let's keep it moving all the way through to the end. Last twenty seconds now. Ten seconds. Ten to go. All the way through to the end. And five, four, three. Two, one, resting there, good. Oh, that burns the shoulders, that one does. Uh, good work so far. We have got 20 more seconds of a rest. We're gonna go up back to the burpees again for the next one. Good work, two more to go here for this. Doing really well so far. Let's finish these last two just as we started. Into the burpees next in five, four, three, Two, one, off we go. Okay, halfway through, coming up now. Halfway there. One more minute to go on this burpee one. You're doing great so far in this minute. Let's push it through the second minute here we've got. Good work, keep it going. Fantastic work, everybody. Okay, 20 seconds to go. Ten seconds. Last ten seconds. And four, three, two, one, resting there. Good, okay, this last one we're gonna do, is we're gonna do some swimming. And how we're gonna do this is, well, we're not gonna use a pull for a start, but we're uh, gonna be doing 30 seconds of front crawl, 30 seconds of backstroke, 30 seconds of breaststroke, and if you can, 30 seconds of butterfly. So it's essentially just pretending we're swimming with the arms, and I'll be guiding you as you go through that as well. So starting off with front crawl here, we're going in three, two, one, off we go. And don't worry if it doesn't look 
good. If it looks like you're drowning or whatever it may be, just keep it going the best you can. Keep that pace there at that pace that we've started. Good work. Let's keep it going. 10 more seconds of front crawl, changing into backstroke in four, three, two, one. So going backstroke now. And again, don't worry about how it looks like, just do the best you can with it. Good work. 15 seconds of this one to go. 10 seconds now before we go into breaststroke on the next one. In four, three, two, one. Breaststroke now. Halfway there. Good work. And then obviously we've got butterfly to do the last one. If you can't do butterfly though, it's quite a lot on the shoulders. Just stick with the breaststroke or you can go back to front crawl or do what you can. Try one. But obviously safely, if that's too much, you can make the adaptation. Changing in four, three, two, one. Changing into the last one here. Yeah, 20 seconds to go. Feel that shoulder burn. Last 10 seconds. And four, three, two, one. Resting there. Good work, everybody. Ooh, I certainly felt that. It's in the work. Let's grab a drink as we start to do a little bit of a cool down now. Good. All right. So for this cool down, we're going to be doing three minutes. And essentially, we're going to be starting around about sort of seven or eight out of ten for the first minute. And we're going to drop it down somewhere about five or six out of ten and then drop it below five out of ten for the last minute. Essentially, it's a nice soft landing from the effort levels we were at just then. For the exercise, I'm just going to stick with sit skis. But you can do the same as me or you can change it to a different exercise, one we've done you know, with punching, whatever it might be. You can choose your exercise and go through. I'm just going to do the sit ski because it's my preferred one. Um, but yeah, you can do the same as me or choose a different one. But 10 seconds. So we're starting off still fairly hard with the pace. Then each minute we're bringing it down. Three, two, one. Yeah. So steps, starting with still fairly hard with the pace for the first minute. Maybe just a little bit less than what we did on the previous group of exercises. Yeah. Halfway there. Halfway through this first one. Okay, 15 seconds to go, and then we will drop the pace down on the next minute. 10 seconds. Okay, three, two, one, drop that pace down. So somewhere sort of five or six out of 10 now. So it's around about warm up pace or a little bit under, or a little bit over, sorry. Halfway there. Halfway through.
Ten seconds. Ten seconds. You've got one more minute to go after this one. Bring that heart rate and the effort level right the way down. Three, two, one. So bring it. Three. Last round. Just nice, gentle movements, sort of five out of ten or even a little bit under. And just sort of gently moving them now. Bringing these efforts to a close. Halfway there. Halfway through. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. That's ten now, all the way through to the end. Five, four, three, two, one. Resting in. Good work, everybody. We've got still some little bit of time. So we do some mobility work through our neck and our spine. So if you need to grab a drink, grab a drink, and then just start with some breathing in through the nose. Out through the mouth and just bring that heart rate down to start with. First of all, it might be catching your breath, but once you have, just sort of start to elongate that breath, especially the out breath. Let me take a few here just to get control of it. Once we have, we can start to go into our mobility in our spine. So starting with some looking up, looking down, going back and forth between the two. Well, let's go into some looking side to side, one side, then the other, nice and gentle. There you go, one ear to one shoulder, to the other, back and forth. Go okay, through some extension and flexion. Into some rotation. And then lateral flexion, bending down to one side and the other. Yeah, coming around in a whirlpool. Change direction. Let's 
finishing off the hegger. A nice little shake off as we finish today's session.